winter residence. Winter residence. Okay. This is the entryway. The front door is right up there. But I thought I'd take you around the back the here back. and show you some green features. All right. Main house has 141 solar panels up there. 141. 141. Solar most I've ever put on a house. Wow. And you can see these roofs up here where you, from the courtyard. He didn't want to mm -hmm. see the panels. They're all on the other sides where right. you, you don't really see them. All that solar comes down to a set of batteries. It's the most I've ever put it in a house. There's seven Tesla Powerwall batteries. Seven Tesla. Right. Wow. The owner's vision for the green property or the green build obviously includes gardening and right. so forth. So right. Just, I mean, he has just these. Obviously, very conscious. There's of... two underground tanks right in here. Okay. And we brought them in. We had to crane them over the house. They look like submarines. That. The rainwater, which is water off of the off of the, the roof, roof. Okay. everything off the roofs, both both houses, all three houses, goes into that rainwater tank. And the rainwater is cleaner than stormwater is water from area drains around right. around the site. And so there's a smaller tank for that, a fifteen thousand gallon tank. The rainwater is a thirty thousand gallon tank. That's amazing. Yeah. There's certain times a year that water is more expensive than others. Sophisticated control panel that allows him to tell, look and see how much water is used at what times. It's broken down into wet season, spring and summer. And he tries to use that captured water in the summer when the water's more expensive because it's a lot scarcer. This family really has put together. I mean, obviously they're very conscious uh -huh. because of how they've landscaped. Right. You know, and the fact that they have so many fruit trees and gardens. Right and how they're able to really be highly sustainable. That's for sure. Do you see a trend leaning in that direction more with the um, home buyers that are coming your way? I see it quite a bit, yeah, yeah. quite often. And what is this in here? Well, all projects a... now have what they call bioretention basins. Okay. They want all your runoff water to go into these basins and then if they fill up, there's an overflow and it goes to the street rather than just dumping everything in the street. Okay. And it, it wants to soak into the ground and go through all these materials that are in there. If those tanks fill up and overflow, it, go, it ends up coming out here. Okay. So without the tanks, you, you dump everything here instead of right into the street. There's an overflow that take, if this fills up, it go to the street, but that's never going to happen. Okay, so the tanks fill up first and then it flows into this. And it flows into there. And then from here, it goes out to the street. If that overflows, so yeah. So El Nino really hits us yeah. hard this winter. Yeah, right. He's good. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> this flooring, I don't know if you've noticed, it's it's not straight cut flooring. It's it's You're cut right. to the branch that was that was that was given. And the theory behind it is there's a lot less waste of wood when you cut it to what the shape of the of the branch that it's made out of. I didn't even think about that. And that's why you see it's it's uh, random curveness. That is well, and it looks so much nicer, actually. And this is my favorite room, the theater. That's pretty cool. That's theater seating there. Now, what's green about this, Mr. Adams? <laughs> <laughs> well, what you have are experiencing as we speak is great indoor air quality. Okay. I'm going to show you the ventilation you had an system. Answer. I'm very impressed. But Thank see, you, you can see there's no windows or right. uh, air ventilation through windows. It's all ducted in from the ventilation system. Now, those are the systems you want to supply air. It's constantly bringing air in from outside okay. and taking air out of the house to the to the outside. But you want to bring it into living spaces like this, right. and wet spaces like bathrooms and kitchens and laundry room is where you you take it out. That's that's the little outlet where air is coming in right there. See, feel how fresh it is in here? Yeah. This is the ventilation system. A lot of mechanicals in here, but this is the Zender um, Energy Recovery Ventilation System. So you can see these big ducts. Two of them is air coming in from the outside. Two of them is air going back out to, out to the outside. And inside is it's filtered. So, but it captures this energy recovery. You, in the summer, when it's you've cooled your air mm -hmm. and you're bringing in hot air, right. it, it transfers and cools the air coming in. In the, in the winter, you, it's cold outside and you have hot air inside and you're exhausting that hot air and bring in the cold air, you want to exchange that, that heat. And that's about a 90% exchange. 
Wow. So you're not just dumping cold air into the house. Wow. It's, it's a heat exchange. She wanted a, a gas range, but we talked her into doing both. <laughs> Typically, when you go all electric, you use an induction cooktop right here. Right. So you got that right next to a, a gas range, so you can see the difference. But okay. So, now, yeah. if you had the house all closed up, like in the winter time, mm -hmm. and you're trying to heat it, and this big exhaust fan comes on, mm -hmm. you're going to create negative air pressure in your house. So what this is set up to is there is a, a duct, um, motorized damper on a duct to bring in outside air to offset that negative pressure that this creates. Wow. Does that he make any sense? He's thought every, everything. <laughs> That's the yeah. important part of, yeah. of a, in a tight house. You want to have makeup air for exhaust. This is another <laughs> type of ventilation system. It's called oh, I see it on the side, Pinal though. Lunos. There's one here and there's one over here. Oh, okay. And they alternate. One brings, one will bring air in, the other will exhaust air, goes for a few minutes, and then it, it reverses. Mm -hmm. So you end up with some nice fresh air. Mm -hmm. So all the water that lands on this deck is considered rainwater, just like the roof. Okay. So capturing all this water. You, you'd be surprised how much rainwater comes off a roof. That's amazing. And, and I'm hoping that this property, along with other things that we talk about, will inspire people to, let's check this out. Let's check this way of doing things out so we'll, we'll get to work and make sure that that happens.